Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go through a quick and fun exercise to show you a quick and easy way to pick the right agent to list your house. Hey guys, welcome back again. It is your central main realtor, Nick Isgro with EXP Realty. Thanks for tuning in to this channel where we go through all things real estate here in the state of Maine, particularly in the central Maine area. If that's of value to you and you like this kind of content, please do go ahead and like this video, hit the subscribe button, knock that little alarm bell, and you will be notified every time we put out a new video. Now, as I said earlier, today we're going to go through a fun and quick exercise to show you a quick and easy way, kind of a down and dirty way to pick the right agent to list your house. As always, there's a little bit of a nuance to this, so you'll want to stick around to the end of the video to hear the explanation of how you can custom tailor this method for you. I want to state up front that you might want to grab a notepad or have a whiteboard handy because that's something that you're going to use as we go through this, and I'm going to show you how to take easy notes when you're interviewing agents and how to rank them so you get the right agent for you. The first thing you wanna do is pick five or six top qualities or issues that are the most important to you. Today, I'm going to go through the top five that are the most common that I deal with when I'm working with clients on my own. Now, of course, when a realtor asks a client, what is the most important thing to you? Nine times out of 10, they're going to say the price. So go ahead and write that down. Now, of course, price is subjective and it's easy because I, I could probably be anybody because if you say you want to list your house for a million dollars, yeah, sure, we'll list it for a million dollars. But you want to think a little bit deeper on that because what you want is the agent that's going to be able to show you how they came through their market analysis to get the right price for your house. If it's priced too high, it's gonna to sit too long and you might have to reduce the price. If it's priced too low, you're going to leave money on the table. What you want is that sweet spot that gets your house activated on the market, drives a lot of interest. Now, sometimes in a market that's moving like we have now, that might change. I have a house currently listed that we listed on the high end. And now that we're looking at what's listed in that particular town's market, it's actually right where it should be. It's in the sweet spot. So this is a little subjective, but what you really want is the agent that's going to be able to take you through the steps, look at your local market data, show you how they came to the price. Then you have a discussion and agree upon the best price for you. The next most important thing that I hear about a lot from clients is what is the marketing plan? And if you're an agent out there ready to list a home, make sure that you go to the listing appointment with an actual marketing plan in mind. You don't have to have a PowerPoint or a 10 page document, but you do have to have a general sense of how you're going to market the property for you sellers out there. Realize that every agent is going to put your house into the MLS, the multiple listing service. Every agent out there is going to make sure that your house is listed not only on the MLS, it's going to go to the most popular sites, Zillow, Redfin, Realtor.com. What you want to know is, is your listing going to then continue to go out to all of the smaller sites that are out there that people are looking on? Of course, there's more than just listing the home on the MLS when it comes to the marketing strategy. Now, listing the home in the cute little free flyer at the grocery store was a wonderful strategy in 1987. Ask your realtor about what their plans are for social media marketing. Ask them for examples of ad strategies that they have used on social media. The reality is we live in a modern market and people are marketing things, not just homes, but every product, but you have to know how to use it the right way. An example of what I'm talking about is the use of Facebook Ads Manager, where you actually go into the back end of Facebook. You can build an advertisement strategy specifically designed to bring in leads on that specific property. You can target market folks who are looking at Zillow and have similar interests who are gonna be the most likely to wanna buy the home that you're marketing. Do you have that strategy in mind? 
Those are the kinds of things that you want to ask. Of course, it goes without saying that you want to ask for examples of homes that they've previously listed and take a look at the photography that they're using. Some homes warrant professional photography. Have they ever worked with a professional photographer, especially if you're in a higher end listing? Do you want drone shots? Will they provide you with what you need? Take a look, look at the photos that they've been putting on their listings and see if that's the kind of quality that is right for you. I'm sure that it goes without saying that one of the things that always comes up, the question we always get asked is, what is the cost to me? Of course, the biggest cost to the seller is going to be the selling commission, whether it's 7%, 6%, 5%. You want to get a good sense of what that is and also ask where's that going the reality is you start with a higher commission but then typically that gets split in half so half goes to the buyer half goes to the selling agent now with what's left of that part of that is going to go to the agency part of that's going to go to gas part of that's going to go to marketing and here's what's left but you want to get a good sense of what that is getting for you so you know that Maybe you're going to get better photography. Maybe you're going to get a video tour. Maybe you're going to get an overall better marketing strategy for that cost because ultimately guys, at the end of the day, the purpose of listing your home with a realtor is to get it sold at the highest price possible as fast as you possibly can. Other little costs to go over are deed prep, which is usually 200 to $250, as well as the state of Maine transfer tax, which is $2.20 per $500 of the list price, which then gets split between the seller and the buyer. So for you, it would be $1.10 per $500 of cost on your home. One of the next biggest questions that you want to ask to an agent that might be listing your home is, what is your experience as a selling agent? Now, there are a lot of agents out there who are working with both sellers and buyers, oftentimes equal amounts at the same time. There's also agents who specialize in selling and agents who specialize in work only with buyers. But since you're trying to sell your home, what you want to know is, how many homes have you listed for sale and sold in the last 12 months? What was the mix, perhaps, of sellers to buyers? It's not to say that an agent who works mostly with buyers isn't qualified to sell your home or that somebody who strictly deals with sellers is the best agent around, but through that discussion, you're going to get a good sense. You're going to get a good comfort level with whether this person knows how to sell your home and whether they're going to be the right person to sell your home. Lastly, guys, you want to think about personality. Does this agent work with you? When you're sitting down and you're talking, do you get the positive vibes? Do you get that they're coming across as friendly, outgoing? Is this a person who's going to bring a good name and a good reputation to the home that you're selling? The reality is this person is going to be the representative of your home. They're the ones who are going to be representing you and your interests throughout this entire process. If you're not getting a good vibe from them on the front end, chances are that the other side of this transaction might not get a good vibe either. So think about how you mesh with this person. You have a long road ahead of you, at least a couple of months typically, because it's about 45 days to close once you get somebody who's buying your home and it's usually about 14 to 18 days to get under contract. So you have about two months that this person is going to be intimately involved in your life in the sale of your home. Since you have picked the top categories of importance to you when it comes to interviewing an agent to sell your home, the next thing you can do is make a column for each agent. Then on a scale of one to five, five being the best, one being the worst, you can start to rank them in each category that we discussed. Of course, some of these might be more important to you than others. The score is gonna be individual to each particular seller. As with all of the advice that I bring to you guys, of course, this can be custom tailored to you. And in fact, it should be custom tailored to you. Some of these things may not be so important, but there might be other categories that you can think of that may be more important to you. So feel free as you're doing this to substitute one thing for another and make sure that it's something that's going to work best for you because at the end of the day what matters is that you get the right agent specific to you to sell your home now if you guys are in the process of selling your home right now or you have sold a home in the past i would love to get a comment below so you can tell us a little bit about what your process was like and how you came to pick the realtor that you worked with thank you guys so much for sticking around i do appreciate all of you my name is nick isgro real estate agent with exp 
Realty. Feel free to reach out anytime. I'm happy to answer your questions and help you get your home sold.